Hey guys, Dylan here with Southland Goldens. Today I'm working with Isaiah. We're just using some of his kibble uh, or dog food and we're going to mark the behaviors when he completes them with good. Just good. Sometimes I'll be a little bit animated and it could be good boy, but I try to just keep it nice and short and sweet good. All right. And um, there's a few things that we've gone over, but I'm just going to touch base on them one more time. When I put my hand down here, it's for him to come. So I'm going to say, Isaiah, come. Yes or good. And then I'm going to go ahead and treat him. So Isaiah, come. Good. And then I'll treat him. Isaiah, sit. Good. And then I'll treat him. Now, we can string multiple behaviors together, and we don't have to treat for every one. So, down, good, sit, or come, good, and then we'll treat for that one. I have to find that. And then this one will be place, good, sit, good, stay. And then he knows the release is okay, good. Isaiah, place, sit, and stay. When we get Isaiah to stay, we're going to come back and reward him for staying and showing that good patient behavior. Now, if we always call him to come during a stay, or we always release him when we're far away, what he's going to start to do is anticipate this, and it'll be very hard for us to get him to stay and be steady, okay? So, he heard his release, but he was just looking around to see if there's some food stay. Now, he does no release, and I don't mind um, releasing him or calling him to come uh, off of the stay, but I just want him to know that if he sits tight, he'll get additional food so he doesn't really want to leave. Okay. All right. So you guys see how that works. And I'm going to do that one more time. I say a place, sit. Yes, or good, stay. And you see how he leans forward. He's anticipating me calling him to come or releasing him, which is what I don't want. So I go back and I pay him there just to make sure he's nice and steady. So I'm rewarding him for being steady and sitting tight. Because that's what I need him to do, or that's what I'd like him to do. And then when I'm ready, it'll be Isaiah come. Yes, good boy. Now, for the stairs in the course here, if I want him to get up on something, that's exactly what I said, is up. Or, um, and so his lay down is down. So for this, I'll either just call him to come or I'll say off. to do anything but stay here but since he's elevated off the floor stay it helps me just like the place for it helps me be able to create distance and have him not go anywhere so if you guys have an object like at your house maybe an ottoman or if you purchase a place board or if you have like a little bookshelf that you can repurpose or a stool or something like that it makes for a great training aid stay come good Boy, yeah, that was a little bit scary. Good. And up. We'll have you come down the plank. We'll have you turn around. And we'll have you come off. Good boy. And we're going to return you, Isaiah, to your placement. And sit. Good. Another thing, stay. Another thing I love to show you guys today is that when we first start getting him to lay down, we have to maneuver him all the way to the floor. But now, Isaiah is very smart, and we can just point to the ground, and he knows what I mean. And I'm going to show you and demonstrate that. Isaiah, come. Good. And sit. Good boy. Isaiah, down. I give him a few seconds to think about it. Okay? And you see what he did. Good boy. 
Now I treat him. Now, if we want a dog to continue a behavior such as stay or such as lay down, I keep the food coming while he continues to display that behavior. All right. Even if there's a distraction in the room, such as stay, me putting food on the floor, I pay him for staying, stay and being steady. Now I know his attention is split here, but while he continues to pay attention and be obedient to me, I continue to pay him out so that this reward over here, uh, it's not as rewarding because he can't have it and he's rewarded for staying. And then I release him. Okay, good. Awesome, so you see Isaiah is really smart. Sit, yes, we're good, down. Give him a few seconds to think about it because Isaiah knows usually I go down here and then I lure him, but he's getting very smart. So instead of going through all that, I just like him to see it from the top, Isaiah down. Yes, good boy. And then I feed him. Oh, all right. Now. I can do it kind of like this. Things are starting to get dynamic for Isaiah because he's pretty smart. Stay. So I had to loop him back around because he was being a little, he was fudging the truth. He was being a little cheater. Stay. Sit and stay. Isaiah, place. Good. So Isaiah, he didn't go all the way up. So maybe I should have placed that a little further back on the place board. Yes. Isaiah stay. All right. So we're doing a little food impulse training on the floor at this point. We're doing a lot of placement, a lot of stay, which means his release is super important. His release is okay. Or we can use a different obedient posture such as sit down, stay, come, or what might you, whatever you want to use. Um, and I'll just demo that or display that. So instead of just saying, okay, you say Isaiah sit, and then Isaiah down, I give him a couple of seconds, down, good, stay. Now instead of releasing him with our release word, this time I'm just going to say Isaiah come, good, very good. So as you can see, Isaiah is very smart. He knows stay for the door, so I don't know if this will work, but we'll see. Isaiah come. Yes, stay. So, doors are very tricky for dogs because as soon as they open, they want to come through them. So, what I tell them is to stay immediately upon opening the door. Isaiah, stay. Stay. We'll just help him out a little bit. Stay. Okay. Good. So we've been working on thresholds as well, because when the door flies open, Isaiah wants to go right through. But we'll have to help him understand that sometimes it's not always safe for him to go through that door when it opens, and therefore we'll just start him staying at all doorways, because it could be that we have our hands full with groceries and he needs to stay inside the house, or there's uh, you know, vehicles outside or uh, kids that are playing and we don't need him to associate with them at that point in time. Whatever the case is, we need him to learn how to stay. Okay, and this is the last piece we're doing food impulse on the floor for this video. Stay. Sit. A little body pressure here, me just walking into him. Stay. Stay. If he gets up, I'm going to walk into him, but if he doesn't, then I'm going to leave him. If he leans forward, I'll just use a little body pressure. And you see how that works. Okay. And then I give him his release. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Isaiah is progressing very well. I'm going to shoot another video that's going to show you how well he walks with us on the leash. And so you guys will see that really soon. And, um, just really excited as a progression and excited for you guys to meet Isaiah and to give him the best life. And if you guys have any questions, please let us know. And we'd love to help you in the future, uh, however that may be. If you have questions, um, we can help you out as best we can. And we will see you soon.